welcome guys to this youtube channel and if you've not subscribed you can subscribe so that you get more updates on information security and how you can protect yourself online so uh, today i want us to look at another application for uh, credential harvesting and this is wireshark so on my terminal here let me increase the font i will execute uh, wireshark with administrative privileges so this will start the interface for wireshark as per now i'm connected to i'm connected to a wireless network and that is what is presented here there are other different interfaces that are represented in this uh, uh, Wireshark application. So we have um, uh, this and then I will start uh, Wireshark. So from here you can be able to see uh, there are representation of packets that are running within this network infrastructure. So any packet anything that is being uh, browsed by Wireshark is able to at least collect this information. Wireshark can enable you to at least even do network auditing very much easily. But apart from that, let us look at it on the perspective of information security. So I have this website here. And this website is called uh, is provided by Acunetix. Uh, this is a vulnerable website and say that uh, for example I log out and then I want to sign up and they provide me with the password as test and uh, uh, test. the username is test the password is test so when I click on login I'll be able to be provided with this interface but look at it on uh, the Wireshark so when I uh, stop Wireshark and Wireshark has collected several information about whatever is going on in this network. However, I want to filter uh, information about this website only that I was using in logging in. So for me to do that, I will copy the IP address, uh, the, the domain name here and uh, go to my terminal. I will split the terminal into two so that I leave Wireshark running. Uh, inside here we have a tool called Nikto. Uh, Nikto enables you to be able to at least do enumerations of websites very much easily. So Nikto host and then I provide the uh, uh, the domain name. So from here we can see that we have been provided with the IP address. This is what we want and I go to Wireshark. In uh, Wireshark, I filter the IP address that I want. That is the IP address of that website. Then uh, when I click on it, I'll be given each and every information regarding that website on whatever we have done. But there is something very much interesting. Look at this packet here. This packet for post uh, user info. When I look at you look at it and then go to HTML form URL encoded and then expand this a little bit you will see that the password and the username and the password that we entered is reflected here. So Wireshark can be used in collecting uh, credential harvesting very much easily especially if users are browsing vulnerable websites. So anytime you go online and you are browsing through an application that requires you to log in uh, you have to be very 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 much careful and evaluate the type of website and the links that you are clicking and logging in into before you pass uh, uh, any kind of credential that are useful to you otherwise uh, thank you and uh, subscribe to this youtube channel for more uh, information regarding uh, information security and cyber security analytics uh, thank you